D3. I'm ready for bed. I'm ready for a nap. Pray for me. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see you do that. All right, let's see if we can do this. So, actuate the piston. Yeah. And then you said thumb. On top of it, pull your thumb down as you're opening it. Ah, uh, no. Here, let me try. Let me try. Let me try. There it is. There it is. Let's see this. Let's, can I do it one handed? Is the question. I don't know. That'll be the real test. Look at that. So, does it have a name? Yeah, this is the pneumatic actuator. The pneumatic actuator from Beyond EDC. So, thumb there. Oh, so close, so close. There it is. The piston, there's nothing to it. It doesn't weigh anything. And then to close it, you just lift on this back. There you go. Yeah. It's kind of a nightmare, one-handed, but... Well, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no. There you go. Nightmare, one-handed. I, I disagree with that, sir. Yeah. Okay, well, with some practice. With yeah, some yeah, practice. Yeah. There you go. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, kind of one-handed. Yeah. Like, it's a nightmare. It's a steep pump design. Quite a bit of twisting open. Yeah. It's got a steep pump Yeah. It's got a steep pump Yeah. It's got a Yeah. Insane from Beyond EDC. So, so cool. Where was that? Yeah. Button. Ah, yeah, with the center button. Yeah, yeah. The classic Dirk's warning as a fixed plate. Yeah. Turning yeah. into a floater, or do something special. So that pivot button is also the lock. Which is great. Oh, you can use the flipper, yeah. or you can use the pivot button too. Button. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. beyond EDC still, this, this the button and the pivot is all one mechanism. Yeah, so it's a Paramondi, our limited edition. So we limited to 200 pieces. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Love the size, love the blade shape, obviously, but it's all one. Yep. And it'll come with a COA card signed by Dirk Pinkerton himself. By pen. Dirk no Pinkerton print. design. We love Dirk. Insane mechanism. You should do an interview with Dirk up there. Yeah, yeah. Detent's yeah. great. You can also just press the button. Incredible. Some craziness at Beyond EDC. They're getting wild. They're getting wild. Leong Ma, two handsome gentlemen, the 3.5s at the booth, which I've never handled, and I'm impressed. Big boy, contoured handle. Nice, Ergo's killer. Action's crazy. Detent's really nice, too. Top flipper. Uh-oh. Care's getting wild. It's okay. We get weird at Blade Show, it's fine. S90V on the blade, made by Rayot. Really pretty knife. Bigger than I expected. But a real yeah, pretty knife. <laughs> really pretty. And this is the... T1. T1. Tanto 1 with a compound grind. M390 on this one, bolster lock. Woo! Blade just tucks right into those handles. Got that ball clip that Leong loves so much. Is this an in integral as well? No. no. It's semi so you can actually see Two it better. Oh, I see it, man. You can barely catch that line, that seam. So you can see it a little better with this one, with the half carbon, half titanium. Yes, there you go. Really, really cool. Fills the hand really well. Full size knife. Skinnier, though. Again, another bolster lock. Nice chimping. Feels really nice. An action, of course. Super smooth, great detent. Retail on this one? That one is 480. 480, and then the 3.5 is? That one with the hand rub blade and the gold camo fat carbon is 540. Got it, but the belt satin is? This one's 500, these two are 420. 420, Sorry, 425. 425, four and a quarter. Very cool. Beautiful stuff from Leong Ma, as always. Yeah, I've reviewed that one. I know, I, I know. The I three, the 3.0? Yep. It's like the perfect size. The KUF in L Max. Beautiful little knife. Leon's always got the goods. And then, of course, Eutectic. We talked about them last year. 
still just the one model, but front flipper, back flipper, deployment hole, long knife, interesting blade shape, great ergos, more budget friendly option from Leon. Really cool stuff. Check them out wherever knives are sold. Midgard Messer, what's this called? Finris. The Finris. The Fin. The Finris. It's. It's your locks. It's locks. Look at this. Look at this. I don't. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about it. It's insane. What is it? D2 on the blade? What? CPM D2. CPM D2. Powder D2. Aircraft grade aluminum. Giant liner lock. Aircraft grade aluminum. It weighs how much? A few pounds? Pound or two? Yeah, two pounds. I'd say 12 and a half inch blade. <laughs> I'm afraid to. Uh... Oh, it closes. Kenya. Kenya. Look at that. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> You never let me down. They have the craziest shit in the world. Unreal. Available now. Yep. Pre-order on the site. Pre-order on the site. What's the retail price? $3.99. Oh, that is a lot of knife for $3.99. You talk about value for money. That's kind of hard to beat right there. And the safety pin is included. Absolutely. Excellent value. Thank you, guys. Cheers. We're at Blade Show, end of the day, last day. There's Marty, knife collector guy Marty, OG Scales, the whole family's here. And they have the crazy new Lexan Scales. So this is Marty's knife in the clear, the Hogue Deca. I call it the Ghost Deca. The Ghost Deca, you can see right through it. And it's so light, this material. I'm just obsessed with it, nice texturing on it. Got the Ritter Hogue uh, RSK. Really heavy texturing on that one in the green. Yeah, that's in our wings pattern. I love being able to see the inner workings of a knife. So sick. And then, of course, all the crazy colors. Pink. That one's color shift and orange pink. Kind of changes depending on the light. Pop. Yeah, and what's what, like when my fingers are behind it, it looks orange. Mm -hmm. And when there's nothing, it looks pink. Very cool. The clear, these are for the uh, Ritter as well. Uh, and then they kind of release these for us. And then for the 8020 in the orange. But these will be the newest. So cool. Whoa! That we'll be working on Look at them glow. Look at them glow. The green, especially. Yeah, yeah. And the, look at the. Yeah. Crazy. And then. Uh, Honey Bad Green has these on their Instagram yesterday, but uh, we'll be working with them. More and more after the late show, we'll have scales for all three sizes. There. Very nice, nice. honey badger scales. More. They're also uh, slowly incorporating more blade steels. This one's in D2, and they just rolled out 14C. Nice. We've handled prototypes at the show that are in an, at an M390. Okay. No so kidding. Coming. So we're planning on involving the scale line more and more. As, as they, they upgrade, they upgrade the steels. Yeah. So those guys are great. We gave them a bunch of scales to take back and play with. Yeah. Um, here's a small. Love this, one. the splatter. Yeah, I know. Um, and that one has skips in it because they were the only bearings I had. So honey well, skips. skips will get it done, brother. Yeah. Skips will get it done. Really, really cool. Are these aluminum? Yeah, those are aluminum. Those are our Cerakoted aluminum. Um, and then one more. So cool. Love these. Love the clear. The, love this pattern as well. And honestly, first time handling these knives, too. There's titanium cold steel 82. Whoa, man, the texture on that. As far as we know, we're the first people to do these linerless Contour, too. Uh, and speaking of first, these are linerless clamshell spider foam manics. For the Manix. That's what I need. So we'll keep people updated on exactly when these are going to start releasing. We have some Demco stuff to wrap up as soon as we get back home. Uh, but then the plan is to kind of revamp the whole spider come on, kind of bring the pair two and pair three up to the more current standards for like the Deco and the RSK stuff, make it more you know in line with everything else we're doing, um, and then kind of bring back those, the Manix, the Smock, maybe the Shaman, see what happens. See what happens. All the goodies from the good people of OG Scales at Blade Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. The OGs, baby. We have made it finally, day three. Artisan Cutlery, CGRB, at Blade Show. At Blade Show, and my friend here. 
Russ is pulling out the goods. Oh, yeah. He's pulling out the stuff. hot goods one at a time. We're Every just going to go through. So this is what, Pyrite XL? That is a Pyrite Large. Pyrite Large, and it is large. This is the G10 version, stainless liners. Oh, button lock. We kept it thin. We want to make sure it's the same width. Still, yes, the yeah, it is, it is just stretched out. Just a little bigger for those people that were just like, oh, the other, the Pirate's too small, doesn't fit in their hand. Someone who wants a slightly bigger knife, so that 3.5 range rather than the three inch. And it's been, uh, it's been popping. I've got offers from ranging from 100 to 500 dollars for that knife so far. For this one, and you're like, sorry, not for sale. Like, no. Nope, one sorry. of my favorite, uh, but I think my favorite budget button lock yeah. overall is the Warney. You and everyone else. And it's just too good. So this is the the large, and it is large and in charge, and it's just as good. Just as snappy, just as fidgety and fun, and it's not that heavy. It's still super light. Gotta love it. It's fantastic. Right, what so else? What is this big? It's talking about big knives. Oh, what yeah. is this? That is the resource designed by Dirk Pickerton. We Dirk. Want to make something actually big. This is this is a, big. Uh, I'm not gonna call this fixed blade placement, but it is more of a outdoor <laughs> folder. Big. We're going big. Big, go big or go home. This thing is massive. But I love the stepping, the step milling on the scales. So you yes. Actually, bit, bit of grip on there. Yep. We are figuring out how to do a clip with this one because we have the clip on here as a right side only, even though it's tapped for left side. But that's got that curvature to it to kind of match the scale. That one's actually a little off. It's we'll fine. be fixing that in post. Uh, we're probably going to put some jipping up top. But the big thing is we're trying to decide if we're going to stick with the thumb studs or just the fuller. Dirk likes the, the image of it with just the fuller. Yeah, it works. It works. But the studs added for more functionality. For we, sure. We might just compromise with a slightly more like chunky, large stud. A beefed up stud. It is, but it's a big knife. It it's, is a big, heavy duty knife. It feels enough. good. Very, very comfortable in the hand. Even for my smaller mitts, feels great. A lot of heft to it. The small mitts, you gotta respect the small mitts. The small mitts, my tiny baby hands. It's okay, I got Very, it. very cool. And what was the name on this one again? That is the resource. The resource, Dirk Pinkerton. Very, very cool. Oh yes. All right. And then Ferrum 4G. Oh, you got it off the bat. Ferrum 4, I might review knives in my free yeah, time. Like, <laughs> that's what we do. This is the? That is the Space Cowboy. The but Space Cowboy? Forbes, Forbes, Cowboy Forbes. Bebop? A little Bebop enough, reference? Funny enough, yeah. Uh, LA just finished watching it. But if you've seen uh, some of Ferrum Forge's older designs, you might recognize them. Arch, it's Archbishop-y to me. Almost. If uh, Nico is around here, he's got one in his pockets. He's got, he's got the uh, original Scepter in his pocket. The Scepter. Yeah. 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 Almost the same dimensions. The scepter is certainly thicker, and this one is a little bit of a difference to where the choil is, but it is similar to the scepter. Man, it's a good size. Nice mic card on this one. Shadow box, stainless liners. Interesting flipper taps. You got a nice choil here. Jimping feels great. Comes way out on the blade. Mm -hmm. Super thin blade. And the action again, so well tuned in. So well dialed. Love it. Nice clip. Also, we did a smaller clip on that one, intentionally. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the, the overall big giant complaint for fair and full stuff is like, oh, no left side carry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tap this one for left side carry. Love it. It's Love it. It's very, very cool. Move. The Space Cowboy. Yep. All right, let's move on. To Another Ferrum. So we actually had that one at SHOT Show, but it's gone through a bit of a revision in the blade. Handle the same. The blade has been changed to make it a bit more, um, it's got more belly overall. Yeah, okay. That is the Trucks. The Trucks. Trucks. Beautiful contour, titanium frame lock. Big old gnarly fuller on there. It's kind of got a super Mordax going on. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy duty Mordax. Yep. Man. Look how thin it is, though. Yeah, I mean, overall, the knife as a whole is like wafer thin. But it does. Seem and it feels really substantial in the hand. But feels great. Thin. Ergo's mm -hmm. nice. Especially with that, with a scale that trim. Having something that locks in the hand like that doesn't feel uncomfortable during work is nice. It took us a while to kind of dial that in a bit. The scales are actually uh, dimensionally different than what we normally do with our normal contouring. They're a lot more flat with kind of softer edges. It feels great. It's it feels excellent. Fantastic. Action's great too. Makes a good noise, a good ting. I hope that comes across. It is. Future oh. me, turn up the volume. <laughs> very, very cool. What was the name on this one again? The Trux. The T -R -U -X. Trux. Very cool. Gnarly. This next one's probably my favorite for the show. Uh-oh. New designer, new designer in the works. I, I'm surprised. Uh, he's he's actually made a lot, getting a lot of traction recently. This is uh, Jonathan Shaw at Triple Stripe Knives. Okay. This is the BOA. Whoa. Wow, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful inlays. Carbon fiber. Titanium. Bolster lock, kind yeah. of. Kind of. 
gorgeous, cool really cool options. clip. Yeah, all yeah, the opening options. Option ever. But this, the detent, the positioning of the detent on this thing makes it just super whippy. Oh, the detent is nice and snappy on this. It's got some of the Christmas action. What's this one called? I'm sorry. That's the boa. The boa. It's been a long few days. It's buddy. okay, trust me. <laughs> I'm losing it already. Man, that detent is good. But the size and portions of this thing, like, it's a great drop point blade. That little, like, notch up top allows you to do an index finger. So yep. You can use your thumb, you can do the index finger there. I love how the handle fits. It's, it's not, a good poon. Yeah, yeah, a little extra poon. A little extra poon, never hurt anybody. Yeah. But that handle feels great. It's, it's nice, contoured as well. And it's not in Snuggles in. Snuggles in. Nice and lightweight, too. It's not, mm -hmm. like, super heavy, but it doesn't feel it cheap. Feels like you know what I mean? It doesn't feel light, it's flimsy. It's meant to be a lightweight dive. It's meant to be a all-purpose EDC. And I love it does it. it with a lot more stylistic, like, there's a little flair. More, there's more it's got flair. Here. It's yeah. got more flair. And I'm here for it. Considering this kid is 17 years old. 17, the designer of this. Some amazing wow. ideas. Wow. Like, wow. all the inspiration from this industry for the last, like, 30, 40 years has gone into him developing something like this that is still. 17 year old. What? You need his custody. Ask fans. me what I was doing when I was 17 years I was old. Just playing Not games much. And Not much, dude. But man, oh, now we're into the special editions. Uh oh. So. The big, uh, the big chungus. The big, oh, it's a big one. So we did the accelerator a little while ago. That is our first design and one of the first in a long time from Mike Snowdy. Okay, Mike Name Snowdy. A, that is a classic name, but oh, it's a big one. So we, we did the Micarta ones. They're great. Yeah, yeah. They're selling well, but we figured, hey, for the show, let's, let's get a, crazy. Let's run a tie one. Let's get crazy. Let's frag tie. Frag tie and S90. S90V, man, so oh man. It's at $200. Detents, great. They are so good. Man, look at that blade. I don't even know what to call it. A big poon. A big poon. The Ex biggest poon. <laughs> extra poon. Man, ergos are great. Choke way back. Feels nice. Choke up here. Feels good. Nice jimping. For a giant knife, it does feel really, really good in the hand. Give it a backhand grip. Ugh. I mean, like a reverse grip? Oh, yeah. Oh. Not opening my mail like this most days, but it feels really but nice. Some days, but some days. Some days when I'm feeling extra tactical. When I'm feeling nice and saucy after work. Some very, days, very cool. Some days you just gotta throw on the, the full 511 tuxedo. That's it. Know. The 511 tux. <laughs> and this is? Alright, that is the recent Ray Laconica model. Yes. That's the Echo. The Echo. Oh, this is our show special. We just dressed up in all tie, ah, tie, tie scales. The tie, tie Echo. echo. Oh, A lot cool. of people in the, in the comments are gonna be loving this yep. one. But the price is even nicer. So we, because that's got an RPM nine blade, hundred bucks. Love our. I love AR RPM nine. It's, it's one of my favorite steels. Just all cool. rounders, man. Easy to sharpen. Lasts for a good long time. We're, good stainless. We're really happy that more. It's getting more traction over time. Originally, when we first put it out, it got a lot of flack. But now it's like, yeah, it, it's a huge. I love steel. it. I love it. I I, uh, I sing the praises on my channel about it. I really stuff. love it. Beautiful tie clip, tie handles. Makes a great noise. Detent's amazing. Ray's pretty happy. All the way around. I I would hope so. Love the sheep's footy blade on it too. Very, very cool. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Beautiful stuff. Thank you. Russell, always a pleasure. Artisan. Dylan. Yes. Dylan Hi Dylan. Dylan and his sister. Hi sis. How you doing? Love you guys. Thank you so much for Thanks showing so me much. the toys. We'll see you next time. Cool. Bye bye. See you today. Very popular. Very popular. Very popular. Yeah. Very popular and very popular. <laughs> Well, we're at Kaiser. Hi, Kay. Hi, Brother Vu. The gang's all here. Kaiser's got a big, big, crazy, ridiculous booth, and they told me that this is all prototypes. So my friend here said this one's very popular. Do we have a name yet? Does it have a name? No name. The no name knife. No name. Really interesting blade shape. It says Mercury on it. Or Mer I'm just kidding. Mecca, I don't know. There's still no name. Yeah. Right? No name. Okay. Really gorgeous. Titanium? Titanium? Yeah. Beautiful textured titanium. Gold anno. Real nice blade. Hollow grind. Kind of a cleaver. Almost like a like a shaving razor. Everybody says so. Very cool. Fills the hand well. Super slim. Super lightweight. Very cool. Detent's great. What were the other popular ones? Preciosa. Oh, oh, yes, Sharif. We talked to Sharif yesterday. Yes, love that guy. Two premium versions, Tanti CV and this Damasteel. Damasteel, crazy. Wow. Beautiful. So we have that axis lock style going on. 
Yeah. Action's great. Drops like crazy. Beautiful, beautiful. Kind of the fish scale pattern on the handles. Aquaman worship. What is it? Aquaman. From Aquaman. 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 Yeah. 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 Clip so dark you can barely see it. The pivot screw's missing. Oh. Uh -huh. We got a missing screw. Uh -huh. Here, I'll trade you. Yeah. We'll show that one off. This is the full dress. Mm -hmm. Look at that thing. So come here, bolster. The first time. Zerk bolster. Crazy clip. Wild. Yeah. Sharif's been getting crazy. Clip. Westinghouse micarta. Look at that craziness. And see, this is the little the little the baliki. Yeah. Oh my Hi. gosh. Okay. Sorry. There you go. Look at this. And then to play with it, you got to take this off. Yes. Take it off. And then you have oh. a little a little cutie. <laughs> Look at that. I'm doing some sick tricks here at the Kaiser booth. It's adorable. I, they're sick, okay? <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Very, very cool. The Baliki. Mm -hmm. And also this, the Phoenix. The Phoenix is pretty cool. Button. And the Button Lock. Button lock sheep dog. The Big Daddy Button Lock Sheepdog. Look at that thing. This is the this is the medium size, right? Not the XL. Yeah, medium size. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Detents yeah. money. You got to love the Sheepdog. For the sheet, we also got the Whoa, oh, the purple. Yeah. purple Look the at bag. that. Yeah. Those are aluminum. Beautiful, yes, yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Action's great. Kaiser does such a great job with the button locks. Yeah. Gotta love that. Great job with the micarta, too. We want to check out this. Fixed oh blade. my this god, I'm not a big fixed blade guy, but that is a big fixed blade. That's Look right. at that thing. Uh -huh. You could do some real damage. Great for your mail, light EDC mm -hmm. use, you know, no problem. Mm -hmm. a rogue branch or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. chop down yeah. a few trees yeah. with it. Big, ridiculous, beefy fixed blade, crazy compound grind on the tip. And that is the meta, I don't even know how to say that, meta prop, propitazole, propitazole, meta propitazole. <laughs> Easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah. We got some drop bears. Yeah. In denim micarta. Uh, denim micarta, three colors, blue, red, and black. Very, very cool. Love that. Very popular knife. Action's unreal. Can't really complain. Nicer goes, really nice in the hand. Good size for me. Love that. And the red micarta. Is that micarta? Yes. And, and the, the black micarta. Yes. Beautiful, all stunning. Yeah. Want to check out this mystic? This side by the Paul mystic. Michael. Monko, Monko knives getting crazy. The Mystic bolster lock. Whoa, great action. Thumb studs feel great. Reverse flick, boom, feels great. And of course, little top flipper. Excellent. Can I do the old finger trick? Oh yeah, easy enough. Look at that, nuts. Crazy, crazy stuff. So you want to come here to yeah, let's yes. see the hyper. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's go with the hyper first. Yes. yes. This is the one we played with on the first day, but we nobody did. was here yeah, yet. Yeah, nobody so was here. Yeah, yeah. The hyper, it's a, it's a knife named after me. Oh. He's very hyper. Yeah, I'm very yes. hyper. <laughs> You're very hyper. Very hyper. It's, just, it's designed by our product supervisor, Damon. And this is aluminum scales. And we have also got another one, but it's sold out. Okay. Oh, it's okay. And we've also got the titanium here with the Elmex. Ooh, oh, nice. titanium okay. and Elmex. This yeah. one is S35VN S3 and nice. aluminum handles. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Again, Kaiser does a great job with the button locks. Yeah, so. Super lightweight. Yeah. Really yeah. nice detent. The scales are interchangeable. And right. you can My swap dog. them out. You can make yes. it whatever color, crazy color combo you want. Yes. Totally customizable. And this is the titanium with Elmex. Brushed titanium there. Really, really gorgeous. A little bit heavier, but man, that feels good. Deep carry clip. Really great action. Feels good in the hands. 179 at the show. 119 at the show. Blade show 2023, the hyper, which I am. Need to lay off the caffeine. Beautiful stuff. Ooh, interchangeable hardware as well. 
So you can go gold and black with it? You can get real crazy. You can get crazy at Kaiser. Kaiser's crazy. They're crazy over here. Check them out. Coming soon, I'm assuming. Yeah, they are, they will be available around early July. Early July, there you go. Kay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you. Wanna check out the drop bear, uh, the drop bear, premium drop bear? Yeah, the premium, premium, every time I say goodbye, there's another knife to see. So, here we go. This oh. is premium drop bear. Oh. Yeah, for the show price, 500, yeah. And this is the Damastis, Westinghouse yeah. Macarena, high mask gas stuff, and also the clip, and titanium wow. powers. Wow, wow, wow. They just went all out. Look at that. Super lightweight. It weighs nothing. It, it's super, super light. And we also got a box for this. Comes in a beautiful box as well. Very, very cool. It's the 10th anniversary Russian, so there will be only 100 limited. Wow, 100 pieces. Man, I mean, it's just as good, but look at it. Dan is steel, Westinghouse, Time Mask is clip. Wow. Unreal. Too cool from Kaiser, the giant booth. Kay, thank you so much. I appreciate all your help. And there's bees and my wife and Mrs. Bees. Bees!